Okay, so we just got here in Pahuska. I'm getting some biscuits and gravy. We're so excited right now. We're gonna walk up to the Merc. We just parked. And luckily, there's no lines today. I read that there was like 6,000 people on average who come a day, and it looks like we may just have picked the right day. So it's actually a little chilly here in Oklahoma. I hope we didn't pick a day it closed. <laughs> it's only closed <laughs> on Sunday. So anyways, here's a little town. I'm gonna flip you guys around if I can. Does that work like that? All right, dude, here is the Merc. We are here at the Pioneer Woman's Place. Very small line outside. Very small line. Yeah. And it's only, what is it, 840? Something like that, 840. A.M. You can kind of see the line right there. So this is the way to the lodge. We got to go on a gravel road about six miles. So we'll be on this dusty road for a little while. Look out, look, look over to the left This to is the her right. land. Like, there's miles and miles. Thousands and thousands of acres of land on the left and right side, as far as you can see. There's some wind turbines over there, it looks like. Wow. Look at all of them. So we should be the lodge in a little bit. We ate at the Merc, which was awesome. Everything was so reasonably priced. Me and Mike both had a breakfast for basically $18. Plus we had an awesome coffee, so that was a little something extra. But the shopping was great. Mike, did you have fun? Uh, I had a blast. I'm stuffed. I had biscuits and gravy, and they were delicious. <laughs> yes, they were. The biscuits were about that big. They were huge, and they were square. Delicious. We even got to make watch them make it from scratch. Yes, we did. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Here's what it looks like off the lodge deck. Unbelievable amount of beautiful acreage. He said over a hundred thousand acres at this location. But they're registered to have over four hundred thousand acres total. This is the kitchen where she does the show. There's her oven, there's the other food table. This is the lodge, the inside of the lodge. I'm gonna open up a refrigerator. There's the fridge. Guess what's in there? Guess what's in there? Butter. Butter. So here's the pantry. It is towards the pantry. So big. There's a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here checking it out. But let's see what we have in the pantry. Mm, a lot of cooking and spices. And then it looks like she's my type of cook. Because she seems to have... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Every good That's cook's got to have an after party, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the great room, dining room. This is the table where they all eat on when she cooks most of the time. This lodge is beautiful. It's a four bedroom, four bath, so it's not like a small guest house. It's You're not huge. selling this page. You don't have to give the but, real estate spiel. You know, real estate is what speaks to me, so I'm And afraid. this sign behind here is pretty funny, too. Yeah. It's bigger than what I thought. And look, who's on TV? Oh yeah, she just happens to be on her own TV. Isn't that funny? Just the back side of the fireplace. And then check out the view again. Here. Of course the view is beautiful. Gorgeous view. Let's check out the dressing room next. Okay, so here's the hallway. The second bedroom is what's considered her dressing room. So in here is where she gets ready. This is cool. There's her little hat. So cute. And look there. This is where she gets ready. 
She got her little Charlie Dog rocks. Starbucks fan, apparently. There's all her to do's to get ready. So they turned the second bedroom into her getting ready room, I guess, is what they told us on the tour. So, unlike Paige, she seems to put her shoes where they belong underneath something, not out in the middle of the floor. <laughs> like Paige leaves her shoes out in the middle of the floor. <laughs> not fair. And here's the prep kitchen. Pretty cool. Everything is ready to set up. Here's one of our tour guide, Bill. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> He's giving us a lot of good information. And they've got Ree's props back here, which is kind of neat to see how it all works. Mike's phone is ringing, which is nothing new. All right, we're about done with our tour. It was pretty awesome. If you get a chance, check it out. They post the tour dates on her website. It's only open on certain days. It's really relaxing here. We got a lot of great information. It was a lot of fun. If you're a Pioneer Woman fan, I highly recommend coming. It's a drive if you're as far away as we are, but it was worth it and we had a great time. Don't you think, Mike? Pioneer Woman 2017! Ooh, ooh! Right. <laughs>